Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to write your Tamper Monkey user scripts in your favorite IDE, such as Visual Studio Code. Most of the time, I write my user scripts in Chrome snippets. So I write it here and then I click Run. And you can see, yes, Chrome snippets logged out into the console. And then when I'm finished writing the user script, I will copy it into Tamper Monkey. Open up the dashboard and create a new user script. And then, as it says, your code here, just copy that in. Actually, this time I'm going to change it to say Tamper Monkey is running this. So um, I'm going to check to make sure it's the right URL that it's running on. And yep, that's correct. And then I'm going to save it. OK, now when I go back to my user script, I'm going to reload the page. You can see that there's this one up here showing that the one user script is running and our string was output to the console as we expected. Now this works great for small scripts, um, Chrome Snippets does, but sometimes you are writing a script that's much bigger. Um, and in that case, you might want something like your favorite IDE. Mine being Visual Studio Code. So I've got this script in VS Code. It does basically the same thing, just logs out to the console, some string. And so that's saved. And now I'm going to go over to Tamper Monkey. And I'm going to delete all of this, everything except for this user script block. And I need to add a at require field. And then we need to use file and colon triple slash and then the path. In VS Code, we can simply right click and choose copy path. Control V. OK, when we save that, we go back to our web page and run this again. We should see, yes, imported from VS Code. And now I can edit in the in VS Code. And all I have to do is go back and reload the page. And you see my edits have been completed. So we can also import multiple files. A lot of times, if you have a big project, you're going to split it up into multiple files. Uh, in other languages, I've usually done one file per class, but I guess for JavaScript, it might not be that way. Let's go back and grab this path. So this other file, it's just a function that says do stuff. So we're going to place that file in there, save our user script. And I actually need to call the function. So let's call this function. Okay, this looks good. Let's run it. And there we go. You can see this is from the first user script file, and this is from the second one. There is an excellent post on Stack Overflow. I will put this link in the description. And it tells you essentially everything about these user scripts. One thing I forgot to mention is that you need to go to the Chrome extensions settings and make sure that allow access to file URLs is turned on for Tamper Monkey. Last but not least, I'm going to show you a real world example of splitting up the script because this one right here is obviously a little bit contrived. So 
Right here I've got uh, these four different scripts, scan for groups, cookie API, email sender, scan for groups to CSVs, and I'm using all four of those, right? So if we look at it, um, for example, this cookie API, right? I need to do things like delete all the cookies, get a specific cookie, refresh a cookie. Um, there's lots of different methods that I need, and unfortunately this uh, prod folder isn't very organized, but um, for example, if we just look at this one, you might see that I'm calling, if I control F and I search for get cookie, oh, maybe it's with a lowercase g. Hang on. Ah, because I'm calling refresh LinkedIn cookie. Let's see. Yeah, so you can see I'm calling this function a couple times here. So it lets me write all my code in VS Code in different files, and then of course I can separate these. I can add folders, like blah, blah, blah folder, and then I can just put them where I want so that it's much better for organization than Chrome snippets, because with Chrome snippets you can't you can't do any folders, unfortunately. That's it for this week's user script Sunday. I know we didn't actually write a script, um, but these are just some tips to help your productivity. You know, Chrome snippets is nice because it's right there. It's right next to the HTML, so you can inspect the HTML and whatnot. But there's a lot of advantages to using an IDE. I mean, that's why they exist. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week.